Hello, and welcome to another episode of Legends and Lord. I'm your host, Jerry Chicalo. Today we're in the rainforest in the infamous Pitt River Valley in British Columbia, Canada. The Pitt River Valley is famous for Sasquatches, giant alligators, the disappearance of people, and of course, Slumax lost gold mine. In the early 1900s, a gentleman named Slumac would head up into the hills just north of Vancouver, British Columbia, and he would return with sacks of gold nuggets, which of course he would throw around and spend foolishly. He would never tell where the gold mine was, and occasionally someone would even try to follow him to find out the secret location of Slumac's gold mine. Nothing worked, and the location of the mine was always kept a secret. Finally, Slumac was engaged in an altercation which resulted in a murder. During Slumac's police interrogation, they tortured him, trying to get him to tell the location of the secret gold mine. Slumac held his tongue in the end, just before he died, he put a curse on the mine. And the curse was that even if somebody found the secret gold mine, they would not live to carry the gold out. To this day, the gold mine has not been found. According to some newly discovered lore, some interesting new facts have come to light. In these hills, back in the early 1900s, lived a woman named Cougar Annie. This was before she moved to northern Vancouver Island and became famous as Cougar Annie. She lived peacefully in these hills and just wanted to be left alone. During the gold rush of the area, three gold prospectors came to this area looking for gold. This is our first clue the tent-shaped rock. According to the legend, the three prospectors are still inside this tent-shaped rock. Angered by the three prospectors' presence, Cougar Annie cast a spell that caused this rock to be struck with lightning and break in half, and at the same time turned the three prospectors tent into a rock. The three prospectors were never seen again. According to the lore, nearby we should find the three holes dug by the three prospectors, if in fact this is the lightning rock that was broken in half by Kuru Annie's lightning. And sure enough, here it is. Here is hole number one. Doesn't look like much, but this is definitely man-made digging. So here's, uh, on my left there, is hole number one. We're just coming up to hole number two here now. It's been a lot of years since this was dug, so a lot of vegetation has covered it up. And just up over here is hole number three, so... Were these three prospectors looking for Slumax lost gold mine? Did they find any gold here? And are all three of them, in fact, still inside the tent-shaped rock? <laughs>